what's happening is that over the last 100 years, uh, Australian temperatures have risen by about 1.5 uh, degrees, and that is associated to uh, an increased frequency of heat stresses. Those heat stresses usually take place around flowering of the main season sorghum, causing a lot of flower abortion and reductions in grain yield. That can be quite significant. So one way to get around that is to try to avoid that overlap between the periods of the year where you have those heat stresses and the flowering of the crop. And to do that, we have to put the crop in a different window. We have to put the crop much earlier. As part of GRDC's optimising sorghum agronomy investment, researchers from the University of Queensland have completed two years of on-farm trials, investigating the opportunities available to farmers with late winter sown sorghum. Here we are at the Gatton Research Station of QDAF, and what we have here is very much one of the uh, multiple sites uh, of a large network of trials that runs from uh, the Liverpool Plains up to central Queensland that is looking at what happens if we sow a summer crop, sorghum, in winter. Doing the, the, the sorghum much earlier uh, increases the frequency of the chances that you're going to be able just to, to have a second crop. And that is extremely important because it uh, increases what we call cropping intensity, which is highly related to, to farmers' profits. Some of those treatments in the early sown will be harvested before Christmas, mm. whereas this uh, spring sown will not flower until the first week of January. While the recommended temperature of soil to plant sorghum is about 16 degrees or higher, Researchers had success in soil of 12 degrees at the planting depth. In the winter sown sorghum, we really need to look for that increasing temperature and make sure we get the, the seed right down deep into really moist soil because it will take two weeks to germinate and get out of the ground, two weeks or even more. So we can't, we need to have it nice and deep with a nice um, protective layer of dry soil over the top so we don't evaporate down and the seed dry out. And the researchers have found that for an early plant, seed quality is critical to get uniform establishment. What we need to do is we need to be able to predict the good quality while the seed's in the bag, not when it's too late, it's already in the field. So we've been looking at conventional tests for seed quality, the proportion of germination, as well as vigor tests. So how long does it take to germinate? Do the whole lot of seed germinate at the same time or are they staggered? And what we're continually finding is that those seed lots that germinate quickly and uniformly are the best vigor test for early sown sorghum. And the yields of the winter sown sorghum are not too different from those sorghums planted in spring or summer. Uh, with the advantage that we have very, very uh, small values of the screenings and no lodging. So it is not only that, that you can increase your cropping intensity by having more crops or more double crops, but also you're going to improve your grain quality because you're going to reduce your lodgings and you're going to reduce your screenings. I thought that we were going to kill some crops with frosts. I really expected to lose some trials. We haven't lost a single trial. Sorghum is very, very hardy uh, at low temperatures, at least until it has about seven to eight leaves. Not only were the trials fruitful across a large cross-section of environments, management styles and utilised seed genetics, the data collected from across trial sites from central New South Wales up to central Queensland showed a 60% difference in yield from the best combination of hybrid population and time of sowing and the poorest. We're still not saying plant early at any cost. We must have those conventional rules of thumb down pat. We need a full soil profile. We need the soil moisture to be full before we even think about 
Then we talk about quality of seed we can access. Then we look in detail about the seed bed and how to maintain a moist conditions around that seed for possibly two weeks. So we need to think about that. I'd definitely say that it, it is a great opportunity, that it is time and time again, we know that growers need a dynamic plan and this gives another option to plant if the conditions are right.